This shot was worth $200,000 in the latest Mr. Beast video. And so I wanted to see if you can actually learn how to do it, making the same shot two times out of three. The only problem is that I had absolutely zero basketball experience. I mean, literally, I didn't know how to shoot a ball. <laughs> nope, I don't know what I'm doing. So if I wanted to achieve the final goal, I had to start from the basics. The classic free throw. And only after that, work my way up to the half court one. The average NBA success rate for a free throw is 73%. That means making seven shots out of 10. While I currently make one. <laughs> one out of 10, that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> and by trying intuitively, after 20 minutes of practice, I saw absolutely no progress. I need to get the theory down. Because shooting the ball soccer style isn't probably the best method to do it. So after watching a few tutorials, I tried again. This time with a completely different hand placement and lift path. Feet and legs need to give balance. One foot slightly in front of the other. The hand should face directly the target and the elbow has to be tucked in against the ribs. Now there is only the finish left and the movement is completely different to what I was doing. I was pushing the ball with the arm, but here the fingers has to do the job. And the arm has to go right up almost vertically. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it really works. Don't get me wrong, I still failed most of the times and I wasn't even sure if I was applying the theory the right way, but I kept trying. And by the way, I'm doing all this just because I want to actually learn to shoot, to get a three-point shot, to get a half-court shot. I want to learn living luck out of the equation. That's what I mean. Let's go. Now, before moving to the next level, the goal is to get a 60% success rate, making six shots out of 10 or four out of six, which was something absolutely crazy for me. But I decided to give it a try through a no cut six shots challenge. One and no cuts. Please don't skip this part. I'm doing it just to prove my honesty. Two. <laughs> All right. Two, two more. We are two out of three. Three, one more. Three out of four, one more, one more. I, have, I had no idea how to shoot a basketball like two hours ago, it's insane. How much is it? Three out of five. So if I make this one, the challenge is gonna be done. I need to make it. Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I promise you, I wasn't expecting it. I totally wasn't expecting it. The final challenge will be all about the half court shot. So I decided to try and learn the three point shot next. Steph Curry, which could be arguably defined as the greatest shooter in NBA history, has a success rate of about 45% in three point throws. Obviously, it's way harder doing it in an actual game, but I'm not Steph Curry, so I'm gonna aim to get three shots out of six. So I tried and in the beginning, I managed to make zero out of six. That's bad. So the biggest difference between free throws and three-point shots is, well, the distance. And even if it's not much, it makes a huge difference because by having to put more power into the throw, I was losing basically all my accuracy. I need to figure out a way to be accurate and powerful at the same time. Sounds easy. And as usual, I did the only thing you can do when you're bad at something. Keep trying. You already know the quote, it's all about practice. I probably failed 100 times, but you know what's the great part about failing? You learn. And even if I was extremely tired, I kept trying until something clicked. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! I think I get it. I think I get it. The secret to be accurate is to use the power coming from your legs and your body and not only the arm. The more centered and still you can keep your hand, the higher chance you have to make the shot. By applying this tip and all the theory I learned during the free throws, I started to get significantly better. I was making the shots and every time I failed, I still got pretty close. I'm super close every single time. This is progress. I also tried from different angles and yeah, it's a bit harder, but in the end I got it. So to move to the next level, I want to get four shots, maybe three out of six. And I'm not I'm not sure if I can do it actually. <laughs> I tried a bunch of times and I basically never managed to complete the challenge. I constantly made only two shots out of six. But then I decided to let the camera roll. Trying again a no cut six shots challenge to prove my honesty and this happened. One. That's luck. But that's a good start. Good start. Two. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
another one yeah that was terrible i just need another one two out of three yes let's go let's go i don't even know how many shots you can get out of six three out of four is by far the best results i got ever so so yeah let's move to the next challenge and now things will get seriously hard because they wanted to make a half court shot at least two times out of three and that's borderline impossible for me anyways i rented an entire basketball court to be as accurate as possible with the challenge but as soon as i tried i quickly realized that by simply throwing from half court there was no way i could reach the basket the key to complete this challenge is to run before throwing the ball i almost got it there by the way the only problem is that this way my accuracy was all over the place. So I started watching a bunch of videos of people making the half court shot and slowly, really slowly, I started to understand how to do it. Oh my... We're getting there, we're getting there. I'm losing liters of water, but as I said before, I don't want to be lucky. I want to actually learn how to do it and be consistent. I mean, as consistent as you can be. <laughs> okay. I tried a bunch of times and after 30 minutes the scary thing is that I couldn't even make a single half core shot. So making two of them out of three shots seemed literally impossible. I tried changing the style of the throw, changing the run up length and the speed, but absolutely nothing worked. Until this moment. <sighs> And my face was like, I kept trying even if I was insanely tired and sweaty. For two hours I continuously hit the ring or got extremely close. And every single time I managed to make a shot, then for some reason I lost focus and I failed for 10 times straight. And that's why mentally this is probably one of the harder skills or challenges I tried on this channel. Yes! Yes! I felt extremely close after getting one shot, but then I consistently saw everything disappear every single time and I had to start from zero after failing the next two shots. No! My body was reaching its limit. I was literally exhausted. My god! Yes! I'm so freaking tired, guys. I just wanna make it... I just wanna make a second shot. That's all I want. But then for the thousandth time, I failed the next shot and the next one after that. And I'm not gonna lie, I seriously thought about giving up. But then suddenly, something clicked. And I started making shots way more frequently. Like, by a lot. Oh, yes! I made one shot. Oh my god. I made four shots. Four shots in the last five minutes. I need one more. I'm so exhausted. I just need one more. Please. One more. One more. And the same way it happened a thousand times before, I failed the next one. This is so impossible. But if there is one thing that I know for sure is that perseverance and practice in the end really do the job. I put everything I had left into this shot and then this happened. It's all about practice. I didn't even have the energy to be happy, yeah. but I was. A lot. Yeah. Let's freaking go. Subscribe and click the bell for more content and skills like this. I'll see you next week with any skill.